How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today we're going to be showcasing this new rain team that I made. If you want to battle me then join the discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Alright, we've found our opponent. They've got a pretty strong looking team. They've got the Latios, the Rotom Wash, the Infernape, Clefable, Gliscor and the Heatran. So, um, if I can get the rain up, you know, Kingdra's going to do some great stuff here. I mean, taking out the Latios with the Draco Meteor, we're going to be able to easily take out the Infernape, the Gliscor, the Heatran. Clefable's not going to appreciate a rain boosted Surf or Hydro Pump. It's just that Rotom and the Clefable we need to whittle down a bit um, first. So, I'm thinking we lead with um, Mesprit. So we can get said uh, Rain Dance, or we'll get Stealth Rocks up first, and then get up the Rain Dance. And the battle begins, my opponent Steven's going to lead off with the Rotom, which is fine by me, as I obviously led off with the Mesprit. Now, I'm probably looking at getting my Mesprit tricked here, into a, tr a Choice Scarf or something. Um, I don't really need the Rain Dance just yet. Uh, so I think getting up the Stealth Rocks is going to be quite important here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that Stealth Rocks. As they do just hard switch their Rotom, obviously not knowing what kind of Mesprit I am. And they go into the Heatran. So Heatran's up. That's fine by me. We can deal with Heatran. We can deal with Heatran. So uh, this next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get up a Rain Dance. Put the pressure on already because if we can get the offensive momentum with the um, Kingdra, that's going to be great. Uh, that is a defensive... Well, I don't know what kind of defensive... Heatran though because Heatran can outspeed Mesprit if he's got speed investment so they get the Stealth Frogs up not too fussed about that to be honest with you so what I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to go ahead and just U-turn um, hopefully they switch out they don't though and I'm going to go into Kingdra straight away because Kingdra quad resists fire resists steel um, earth power would hurt but I don't think they'll have earth power on this particular one for some reason just a hunch that I've got um, there's Kingdra at the top there right let's go into Kingdra and from here, we just go for a Hydro Pump. So let's see what the Heatran's going to do to us. A Roar. Okay, that's fair enough. What can we bring in? Scizor. Not the ideal switch in. Definitely not the ideal switch in here. So um, going to have to switch out again. Can't stay in against the Heatran. It's just not possible. It's just not going to happen at all. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to have to hard switch into Kingdra again. It means taking more Stealth Rock damage, but we're going to have to do it because Scizor cannot just 1v1. I can't risk Scizor so early, you know? So into Kingdra we go. And let's see what they do. Hopefully not another Roar. There's the Lava Plume. Okay, so we can eat Lava Plume. We're in the rain. We quad resist. No chance. No chance. So uh, what we can do now is we can just go straight for a Hydro Pump. And in the rain, it's going to do a lot of damage. If they switch the Rotom in, we go for a Draco. If they switch the, the Latios in, we go for a Draco. They haven't got really the best switching. So here's the Rotom. How well is this Rotom going to take a Hydro Pump? Please don't miss the Hydro Pump, by the way, Kingdra. There we go. We hit the Hydro Pump. Let's see how much damage we're talking. Oh, that is some solid damage right there. That is some solid damage. So we are in the clear to go for another Hydro Pump. Um, if they're Choice Scarfed, it doesn't matter. We still outspeed. So let's go for another Hydro Pump. I don't want to risk the Surf not KOing. There's the withdrawal of the Rotom. They're panicking now. They're going to try and get a switch in wherever they can. Has to sack off the Heatran, which is a shame for them. A real shame for them. But Kingdra's just that strong. Hydro Pump comes through. We're going to completely destroy this Heatran's life. There we go. So Heatran's already gone down. Perfect. I don't see what they bring in here. I really don't see how they get around this. Probably go into the Clefable. Clefable can definitely take a Hydro Pump and go for a Moonblast. Um, they go into the Latios, though. Which tells me they might be Scarfed. Now, do I want to risk that? Do I have a good switch in? That's the real question. Um, Scizor can switch in quite comfortably to a Draco. So I'm going to go ahead and play the safe game and go for the Scizor. I don't want to lose my Kingdra this early to a Choice Scarf Latios. Because, again, I'm not 100% sure whether or not Kingdra in the rain because because rain doubles your speed with Swift Swim, whereas Choice Scarf times your speed by 1.5, and obviously Latios naturally is a lot faster than Kingdra, so I think Choice Scarf will probably work out a bit faster. So luckily they went for the U-turn, 
And also, luckily, they're going to have to switch out now, which means we can get our U-turn off and hopefully get back into Kingdra for some more action. So let's go for the U-turn, expecting the switch. They are going to withdraw the Latios, probably into Gliscor or Infernape or, or Rotom. I don't see the Rotom being the best switch there, to be honest with you. If we KO the Rotom with this U-turn, which we have, they get initiative on whatever they want, which means they can get a free switch back into the Latios on the Kingdra matchup. So not the best situation, not the best situation. I think now we go into our Ludicolo because I'm pretty sure Ludicolo can take a um, Draco Meteor. Pretty sure. So let's get Ludicolo in. Our other Swift Swing user in the rain. Love it. Absolutely love it. So Ludicolo doesn't have as much power behind it because of the lack of a life orb. Um, I decided to give it leftovers just for the recovery factor. It's basically my mediocre Swift Swim user. The one that picks up KOs that Kingdra couldn't quite do. So in comes the Latios now. This is where we see whether the Latios is Choice Scarfed or not. Because if the Latios outspeeds us, it's Choice Scarfed. Which means it probably outspeeds Kingdra as well. So let's go for an Ice Beam anyway. Just to see what kind of damage we're talking. Yep, it's definitely a Choice Scarf Latios. We know that for a fact. We should be able to live this. Yep, we can. Ludicolo pulling through real quick for us. And we can just go for an Ice Beam, which is fantastic. So there we go. Ice Beam doesn't get the KO. I didn't think it would since we're only leftovers. Um, but the main thing here with Ludicolo is that I'm letting Ludicolo go down. Um to another Draco Meteor. No, I don't need to do that though. They might hard they might expect the Scizor and hard switch into Infernape. Which is why I'm not going into Infernape. I'm gonna go back into our Mesper and try and get the rain back up. So there's the withdrawal into the Infernape probably. Rengoku, yep, yeah, that's definitely the Infernape. Definitely the Infernape, because I get that reference. Woo! Anime references. Gotta love them. <laughs> anyway, into the Mesprit, and our Mesprit is physically defensive. We should definitely be able to take a Flare Blitz from this thing, even if it's Choice Banded. We should be able to take one, get the Rain Dance up, and then go from there. So let's go ahead and do that, um, and hopefully I could be completely wrong, and we might just get annihilated by a Flare Blitz right now. There we go. They're going to withdraw their Infernape going into what? The Gliscor. Interesting one, interesting one, that's for sure. So going to assume that they're going for this to get the um, knockoff off and maybe get rid of the Stealth Rocks on their side, which makes sense. But the Stealth Rocks have already done their, their, their work, really. If they've finished up what they uh, needed to do. So what we can do is we can go for a U-turn. They should outspeed us. Um, so we can get a free switch in with our Kingdra. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Kingdra is such a good Pokemon. Like, it sucks that Drizzle is banned in OU. Um, for Kingdra anyway. I don't mean it sucks as a whole. I think, yes, it's probably a good thing because getting a free Rain Dance when there's such a powerful Rain Sweeper as Kingdra lurking around, it's just, you know, it's whatever. So I think I think I, I, I kind of agree with Smogon's decisions there. Um, I'm going to go straight for a Surf. I think Surf will just do something great for us here. As they do withdraw the Gliscor, are they going to go into Clefable or Latios? Clefable? Let's see how well Clefable takes a Surf. Let's just see how well we're taking this Surf. So, there we go. Surf comes through. How much damage are we talking here? Oh, wow. Okay, so that's some decent damage right there. Some really decent damage. So, if the Infernape has Mach Punch, it can finish off Kingdra from here. Which isn't ideal. But, we're going to get our third KO with Kingdra. Since we obviously got the Rotom. Wait, no, we, we didn't get the Rotom with Kingdra. We got the Rotom with Sizzle. Uh, Heatran. And now the Clefable with the Kingdra. So that's pretty awesome. Kingdra is such a good Pokemon. I mean, in this rain, the only thing that can come in, like I said, is if the Infernape has Mark Punch. If they don't have Mark Punch, they're screwed. Straight up. There's the Latia. Uh, Latios. Now, we already discussed this about the Latios, but I'm pretty sure it'll outspeed Kingdra. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to go into Scizor again. We're going to have to go into Scizor again. Go for a U-turn. Oh, no, no, no. We can just go for a Bullet Punch. Switch into the Scizor real quick. We can definitely take a Draco Meteor unless it's a crit. Um, Stealth Rocks are a bit sucky, but it's whatever. There's the Thunderbolt instead, which isn't going to quite get a KO after a critical hit. So we got really lucky there. I mean, we didn't get lucky because they got a critical hit. But we got lucky that the crit didn't KO. So, you know, whatever. Um, I'm thinking we go for U-turn. I'm thinking we go for Bullet Punch. It's a tough call. 
I think we go for Bullet Punch personally. I think they stay in because they can't switch the Latios back in. They're going to withdraw the Latios. So the Latios is dead um, from Stealth Rocks. They're going to go into Gliscor. We don't really need Scizor around particularly. So I say we just go for a Bullet Punch and then we go for another Bullet Punch after that. And let Scizor go down. That's what I'm thinking. We get a free switch into Kingdra. That's that's pretty much all there is to it. We get a free switch into Kingdra. So um, I'll attempt to go for a... I'll go for a Bullet Punch. They're going to KO us this turn. We get a free switch into Kingdra. And then we can finish up from there. So go for a Bullet Punch. Get the health down a little bit more. They go for a Defog. Which makes sense. Now the Latios has to... Oh. The, Latia, the Latios can now um, do the thing. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. How many turns of rain have we got left? I hope we've got enough. Um, if not, it's going to be really awkward. I say we go for a U-turn now. I should have U-turned first. There's the Earthquake. Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day how much damage we do to this Gliscor because we can just go for the Kingdra and uh, take out and one-shot with Surf, so... The rain is going to stop. That sucks. Kinda. Not really, though. The reason it doesn't suck is because we still have Mesprit in the back. And we also still have Toxicroak in the back with the Bullet Punch. Um, which means we can definitely take out the Latios. So, now that we get this free switch into Mesprit, we go for Rain Dance. And we just go from there. So, they're going to go for a Facade. We're going to eat out like it's nothing. Go for a Rain Dance. This next turn, we're going to go for a U-turn, which gives us a free switch into Kingdra. And that's all we really need. All we really need. So, guys, go on getting close to full health. That's not a big deal at all. Like I said, it's just going to go down straight away to the um, to the Kingdra. So, we'll go for a U-turn here. They go for a Facade. Nearly takes us out. So, that's, um, that's fine. To be fair, in hindsight, I probably could have gone for a Stealth Rocks again. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. So... Um, assuming the uh, Infernape has Mach Punch and also the Latios outspeeds us because of the Choice Scar. This is going to be our final KO with Kingdra because the Infernape can finish us off and so can the Latios. So, with that in mind, let's go for our final Surf and take out this Gliscor. If they switch out into Infernape or something, clearly don't want Gliscor around for whatever reason. Alright, there we go. Our final Surf of the game from Kingdra, taking out the Gliscor. It had absolutely no chance in heck to, to live that, uh, unfortunately, for the opponent. Um, they can just bring in the Infernape now and Mac Punch. They could bring in the Latios, outspeed us or whatever. Um, so naturally, if they do bring in the Latios, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam, just on the off chance that we still outspeed. I'm pretty sure we don't, but you never know. I could be completely wrong. I am completely wrong. Go for an Ice Beam. Take out the Lios. I was wrong. This whole time I was wrong. I was completely wrong. But we are going to go down to Life Orb. So that's one, two, three, four Pokemon on the opponent's team Kingdra managed to take out. That is why Kingdra is so good. So good. So with that in mind, we've got an Infernape to deal with now. Let's go into Ludicolo. We'll see if Ludicolo can handle it. So they're going to go into the Infernape. Um, if they don't have Mac Punch, we can get this KO with the uh, Ludicolo. If they do have Mac Punch, obviously, it's not going to work out that way. So we'll go for a Surf. And we'll see what the uh, crack is. No, they don't have Mac Punch. They're going to just forfeit, which makes sense. There was, if they don't have Mac Punch, they don't win. It, well, they don't win anyway because we've still got the Rotom. That's Choice Scarf. So. Uh, not Choice Scarf, but you know what I mean. You can take a hit. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.